Now, on Word Galaxy today, I'll be talking to you about the power of the mind. Mm. The power of the mind. And I'll be taking it through the beginning, where the beginning actually began from. You see, the mind In is the one... In <laughs> Be careful for that. In the beningin. Let, let, let's be solemn right now. So the, mind, okay. the, <laughs> mind, <laughs> the mind is one of the most powerful and strongest weapon you can ever use to develop your life. You see, what consistently flows through your mind will determine the output of your life. The functions of the thought that goes through your mind is a product of the things that we see through your life. If your mind is highly sanitized, then your life will be highly glorified. Mm -hmm. The glorification of your destiny, of your life, is a product of the sanitization of your mind. Like we understand from um, p great people who have gone by, we were told that the, the mind consists of three segments. You have the conscious, you have the subconscious, and you have the unconscious. Coincidentally, only 10% of the human body uses the conscious part of the mind. Between 50% to 60% of the human body uses the subconscious aspect of the mind. And then the 30 to 40% that is left is the unconscious. So that simply tells you the role and the power of the mind. Listen to this. This is so important. The power of the mind consists of your thoughts. When you add focus and feelings, the power of the mind is exhumed. So every time you want to get the best of something, look deeply, look inward. Take advantage of the power of your mind. Think about it. Now, um, very importantly, there are four key ways to unlock the power of your mind. Four ways to do that. Number one, change your belief system. Change what you believe. Number two, get the right knowledge. Information is what helps to escape deformation. If you're not informed, you may end up being deformed. So get the right information. Number three, become passionate about learning. You know, some time ago they said if you want to hide anything from a black man, put, put it in a in book. A book. Right. But right now I think some black men are, are reading. Like, like in the UK, the, the greatest doctors we have there right now are blacks. And um, it will please you to know that the mind is so powerful, but without the right information, the mind is help helpless. I, I see the mind as the central processing unit of a computer. What you put in is what it reproduces for you. If you, if you bring in knowledge and you put great things in your mind, they will come right back at you at the appropriate time when those things are needed. That's why you must understand the power of the mind. You need to stock your mind with adequate knowledge, adequate information. You see, garbage in, garbage out. When you're putting junks in your mind, at the time you need to be much more productive, no ideas will come. Mm. Now, let me say this to somebody. We're talking about the power of the mind. Ideas do not come from the sky. Ideas come from the mind. How healthy your mind is will determine how much ideas will flow through your mental faculty over a period of time. Number three, become passionate about learning. Become passionate. I, I remember Zig Ziglar said, the moment you stop learning, you, you start dying. dying. That's right. You need to keep learning. And number four, discipline yourself through the hard work of study. The holy book says, study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman either not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. You need to become studious. It takes a studious life to have a glorious destiny. Mm. It takes a studious life to have a glorious destiny. So please recognize the mind is so powerful. Don't ever look down on yourself. The moment you tell yourself in your mind that you can achieve it, hear me, it doesn't matter where you are right now. Your location is irrelevant. Your place of birth irrelevant. Your state of origin irrelevant. Who gave birth to you irrelevant. I really don't care.